Hey guys, welcome to Juicy Tea, where I read out the best stories on Reddit so you don't have to. The funny, shocking, and satisfyingly juicy. Today's Relationship Drama Friday, where we can just sit back and enjoy the tea. Unless you posted to Reddit recently. In 12 hours, I'll get the answer. Divorce or open marriage. This first post comes from the Best of Reddit Updates subreddit. Posted by Big Divorce 9546 I gave him an ultimatum, either an open marriage or a divorce. I caught my husband of 12 years cheating on me. I do know the girl because she's a part-time cashier at the local grocery store. He's been spending a lot of money on her. I got the proof and confronted him. He did what most cheers do, denying gaslight. When he couldn't make up more lies, he finally caved and started his big man tears of Don't leave me baby, I swear I'll change. I gave him options, either we open our marriage and keep our home, keep our children and they'll grow up in a house and not shift every weekend. You can keep your side chicks as long as you do not bring them into our home. We will have a set of rules and boundaries. I laid out all the boundaries and conditions. 1. He cannot spend money from our joint account. He can spend money from his personal expenses. However, in the case of an emergency, he'll put his family above his side chicks. 2. Never bring them home or into our space where we have our kids. 3. No family members or friends. 4. Always use protection and get regular STD checkups. 5. We will tell each other about the dates, when we're going, who we're going with, but we don't have to share pictures of our partners. 6. If he gets a woman pregnant, it's the end, and if I get pregnant by another man, I'll either get an abortion or put the kid up for adoption, or if the father agrees, he can keep the baby and I'll sign away my rights. And yes, he's more than welcome to divorce me. I won't push him for child support for another man's child. Option 2. We'll get a divorce. We'll split everything evenly. The house is in my name, so I'll keep the house. We will only contact each other through a parenting app. No bad-mouthing to our kids. If our kids want to know the truth later in life, we will tell them. We will have a healthy co-parenting relationship. He can have as many girlfriends as he wants, but shouldn't force our children to accept them. It's for our kids to decide. I gave him 48 hours. Now there's 12 hours left. We will see what he decides. If he cannot, then I'll make the decision for both of us. My decision will be divorce. Wow, that all sounds really reasonable. I'm not sure I'd be so calm and rational if I just found out the guy I'd been with for 12 years and had two kids with was cheating on me. Major props to OP. Relevant comments. This just sounds like revenge. Wow, that's crazy. My first thought was, she's not out for revenge at all. She's letting him have his cake and eat it too, all for the sake of the kids. In what way is this revenge? Opie responds and says, Because I'm an idiot, this is not the first time he's cheated. I forgave him. I found sexting and he blamed it on his sex addiction and I forgave him because we had children. Even now, he blamed it on me for not giving him enough sex. I mean, he's a bum. He doesn't do his part of chores and always complains. So I gave him exactly what he wants. He wants to have sex with multiple women, and I'm giving him that, under my conditions. So they cannot blame me that I never did anything on the sex part. Knowing him, I know he won't decide, and I'll have to make the decision for both of us, like I always do. Another commenter says, Just divorce, don't do this open marriage option because he won't stick to it. OP responds and says, You really think you'll agree to the open marriage? I'm already checked out. I'm just giving him a choice so later he doesn't say I didn't try to make it work or deprived him of sex. He was literally crying and hyperventilating when I brought up the divorce first. He wanted me to give him another chance. I gave him one under my conditions. He said he'll do anything I ask for. Someone else says, But it's a cheater's dream scenario. OP responds, Yes, but on the other hand, He'll also have to face the fact that his wife is sleeping with other people. Do you think if he agrees to an open marriage, I will stay home and wait for him? No, 
I will look into fun outside my marriage. If it was really beneficial for him, he would have said yes when I brought it up. He is still texting me, wanting to talk, and saying, this is not the way. And my favourite line of all, we'll go to church, as if that's going to help. What's his issue? He wants to F around and keep the family, and now he gets to. Why can't she F around if he is? He's not going to suddenly stop cheating. They're more just co-parenting under the same roof at this point. Update. I choose divorce. Well, I gave the verdict before the 12 hours was up because I knew he couldn't choose either option and would just gaslight me. I gave him 48 hours and he couldn't decide. He still wanted to talk and see if we could work things out. I told him to pack his stuff and get out. He begged and pleaded, but I stood firm. He said, several couples make it work and why not? But <laughs> I'm not a doormat who will waste several years of her life building a foundation that was already broken. I've contacted my lawyer and I'll serve him within the week. I've already had the divorce papers ready, but I didn't serve him because I gave him the option of what it was going to be. Soon, our family will know. And I won't hear out anyone who says that I should give him a chance. I did, and he failed. I don't believe that cheating makes a relationship stronger, like that one guy in the comments told me. I cannot even look at him in the same way. I'm done being weak and making excuses for him. That's it. I'm sitting in my empty house. My kids are with my mother. I don't know where he is or what he's doing. I guess I knew this would have been the ultimate fate of my marriage even if we chose to open up the relationship. But I guess I didn't want my kids to come from a broken home. But then again, my kids would have lost it anyway. My mother forgave my dad and he never cheated again, but I knew, in the back of her mind, she still had suspicion that my dad was cheating. She never fully trusted him again. No matter how much she said they were okay, and that after the incident, their love was stronger, no matter how much she was praised for being a strong woman, for giving her husband a second chance, I knew, she didn't fully trust my father. He didn't know, but people around them knew, and she sighed a sigh of relief when he died. It just meant she didn't have to pretend anymore. Sorry, I'm just rambling. I'm a mess right now. I'm just coping by posting on Reddit and talking to internet strangers. The point is, I don't want to live like my mother, worrying where he is, if he's really going to work or not, being a cell guard in my own marriage. I won't lie, when I told him I'd get a divorce, I felt lighter as if a weight had been lifted. Thanks, people. OP's response to someone who blamed her for her husband cheating. There's so many things wrong with your comment. It will take a minute. First of all, the fact that you put sex and food on the same line is wrong. Starving someone is literally a crime. You're murdering that person. How is not having sex murdering that person? In which state is that a crime? Secondly, I did have sex with him. It was not an issue. I saw how he threw tantrums like a kid when I rejected him. The first time he cheated, I forgave him and was more active in sex. But the amount of orgasmless sex, or as I call it, sandpaper sex, that I had to endure was mind-boggling. Should I have cheated? So every woman who hasn't been satisfied by their husband should cheat? I mean, you did say that people who don't get food at home will look outside. But if that happened, you wouldn't blame the man for ruining the marriage by not satisfying their wives. You'd blame the woman for being selfish. Also, guys who always complain about their wives not having sex with them, have you ever asked the wives why? Are they ill? Are their emotional needs being met? I was a mum who worked and came home and did every chore cooked, cleaned, helped with the kids. He did his part, but I was doing most of it. Do you guys ever stop and think that maybe she's exhausted and that's why she's not having sex? Do you guys even care about a woman's pleasure? Most women have a normal libido. If you guys kill it by not romancing them or fulfilling their emotional needs, they will resent you. They will not see sex as something pleasurable, but rather a chore. That's why women feel like they're a maid. These guys want sex on demand. They don't care that you have to ease a woman into it. 
These guys don't want wives, they just want a live-in sex worker. These are the men who leave their wives when they're terminally ill because they're not having sex or meeting their demands. That's how I was treated and I took it as an act of love. Trust me, it wasn't my libido that ended my marriage. It was his lack of patience, effort and the ability to control his dick. Update. He's living with his parents and has been calling non-stop. His last message told me he broke up with his affair partner, but honestly, what's even the point now? So, he still hadn't broken up with her while he was begging for forgiveness, okay? His mother called and said she was sorry and asked if there was a way I could forgive him and try and work things out. I told her absolutely not. I'd already given him a chance and he blew it. She was upset but didn't push the matter. The kids are staying with my mum and stepdad. I've been in contact with my lawyer. I did cry the first day when he moved out but I haven't cried since. I went to the mall, got some good quality makeup, went to the gym, went to the library to read in peace and I made an appointment with my therapist. But mostly, I've been binge watching shows like Criminal Minds and Law and Order. I don't know why. I should feel sad but I don't feel sad at all. Can someone explain this to me? I don't get why he didn't go for the ultimatum. I mean, he could have stayed living in your house. You'd probably still be doing most of the household chores. And he'd get to sleep around as much as he wanted to, without even having to hide it anymore. Seems like an amazing deal for a cheater. I genuinely don't get it. Remember, I post new content every day, so subscribe for more juicy tea.